Assalamualaikum. Good morning. So today is my fifth day in London. I'm gonna meet my friend Arni, who's coming from Malaysia to Paris, and then she is driving here to London last night. So I'm gonna meet her and get my phone, because as you know, I lost my phone when I came to Paris on my first day. So like after like almost around three weeks. Three weeks i'm gonna get a new phone but before that if you are new to this channel please hit the subscribe button and help me to reach 1k subscribers okay now let's resume our video hi ani ya allah it's a good hi how are you hi firas hi hi okay now I am in the Hyde Park. I want to go to see Kensington Palace. So just now when I met my friend Arnie, so she brought me this phone. New phone and strap seal. This one because when I first come here, I suffered with sore throat and cough. But like two weeks after that, I'm getting better. So I'm just going to stand by this just in case if I have any cold also throw it on my way back in the flight because it's gonna be a long um, journey like almost two days because i'm gonna have a 14 hour speed stop at oman and the whole flight journey is around 17 hours for both of the flights so yeah i'm gonna check out my new phone now let's head to Kensington palace which is the birthplace of queen victoria and home to young royals for over 300 years This is Princess Diana Memorial Garden. So right now I'm in front of the sunken garden planting. So in summer there will be uh, this garden will be full of flower, begonia. But because right now it's towards the end of October, so they are maintaining the garden, removing the carpet grass. So right now I'm in front of Kensington Palace. So the palace is actually open from March until October for the public. There's an entrance fee for adult is £23.70 for uh, children and uh, 15 is £11.70 and there's also price for family. You can come over if you're visiting Hyde Park. This is located inside the Kensington Palace. So I'm right in front of Kensington Palace. There's a round pond where there's a lot of sun and I think seagull and dove and birds here. Back then when I was doing my undergrad studies in Sydney, Australia, there's a lake nearby which is called Victoria Lake and I often spend my weekend to feed the ducks over there and I haven't done that for the previous 13 years so it really brings back the memory of feeding the ducks. This is a rare site in Malaysia, we wouldn't find any lakes with swan but here there are a lot of them. So I'm gonna have to sacrifice my lunch sandwich to them. Oh no! I didn't bring enough bread today because I wasn't expecting that there will be so many swans over here. So just bear with me because I'm holding camera on my left hand and another hand is trying to tear off the bread and give it to the swan. So the video will be a bit shaky. Oops! Why are you so angry? Be patient please. I'm gonna give all of you bread. Just take your turn, okay? Don't lose your patience. Come on. <laughs> that swan really losing it, man. Hmm. Okay. Okay, now you're good. Okay. <laughs> Another swan is losing the temper. I feel bad because I didn't bring enough bread for them. They have to fight for the bread and yeah, I should have bring more. I'm so sorry but I think there'll be other people who will bring bread for you guys later, okay? Come on, be patient. Everyone will get some bread. If I didn't come here then you guys won't be fighting for breads today. Now that's, that's, a, that's a goose or a duck. Anybody knows? Tell me, what is it? Well, my battery died off, so that's all I think for my visit to Hyde Park. So if you have a bread, then you can
can come here and feed the swan so they are all waiting for me actually but uh, I ran out of the bread Actually, later in the afternoon, I met Arni again at Trafalgar Square. But I don't know why I didn't record anything over there. I only have our photos together. By the way, there's Tourism Malaysia at the corner of Trafalgar Square. Alhamdulillah, I have just performed my prayer in the Ruhumah Mosque. This mosque is very close to the Shadwell Station. So earlier when I came here, I asked around for mosque and the nearby mosque was only for men. So the ladies told me to come to the Ruhumah Mosque because here there's prayer room for ladies. And I'm using new phone for this. Alhamdulillah, I thought that because I'm from Malaysia, so this SIM by right can only be activated using Malaysian Southeast Asian SIM card but I'm lucky that I put both a UK and Malaysian SIM card and I'm able to use the data and I'm gonna go to my next destination. This is the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching and Assalamualaikum.